make this the easiest, easiest way to get color and foliage in the most problematic areas of our garden. If you have a black thumb and you've said to yourself, I can't grow anything in that corner of my garden, this is the collection to pick up and bring home because you're getting six yes. of these beautiful reblooming daylilies. Exactly, and I love these because if you've seen reblooming daylilies before, you know, Alberta, it's usually the small ones that you yeah. see alongside the highway, the, the yellow ones, and those are beautiful. Yeah. But these are full size blossoms, big flowers, and we had to look okay. long and hard to come up with these, but rich, saturated color. And these rebloom, you got color all summer long, and you mentioned them being a problem solver. Everybody's got some place in their, their yard where everything dies. Yeah. Or nothing looks good there. Sure. I got that area. The <laughs> day lily will fix it because these will even grow down in a salt marsh. If you live in an area where you get salt water inundation. Really? Yes, exactly. These will grow in those areas. If you've got an area of the yard that has been contaminated, they will grow in contaminated soil. They're beautiful in containers as far north as you can go and as far south as you can go. They just are beautiful. I think we got to rename these the surviving daylilies because they will survive yeah, anywhere. They Look will. at this. You're getting six of these here um, for that great price on your screen. $34.96. Free shipping and handling. Remember, that's new this year. So if you've seen the daylilies before and you've said to yourself, wow, I really think I want to try those, but I'm you know, not 100% sure about it. Try it out this year because our garden season has started off to a big, big start. Yes. And you're getting these wonderful varieties. Look at the colors that you're getting. And I love them. It, yeah. This is a gorgeous representation of what you can expect to have for years and years to come. This is the longest lived of any perennial that we offer. Wow. These will outlast your house. I have been driving through the country and all I see is a chimney where a house used to be and the day lilies, <laughs> they're still there. But they don't have this exotic candy or this next one that you're gonna see, this beautiful. I got a sweet tooth and oh, I'll yeah. take that exotic candy every single day. He's an absolute beauty. And these all have those beautiful eye zones too. Yeah, this is the black thorn. This how, is very pretty. And how gorgeous is that? It looks like it's ink, ink dyed. And look at the etched of the edge, edges of the petal, that little picketed look. And look then here we have the passion for red, where you're getting kind of red and yellow here. Absolutely. I mean, it almost looks like a tie dye effect. Very exotic looking, very different looking. Here you're going to see Philip frolicking in the, uh, <laughs> in the in the day lilies. Now I am looking. I'm picking out the ones for the show. <laughs> okay, this is what we do. We go to the day lily breeders, and they show us all of their stuff. And we go early in the season, midway in the season, and late in the season. See how they grow it? See, down in Mississippi, that would be cotton or soybeans. But where we go, it's all daylilies. And we go down the fields, we look at them, they've got a harvesting machine. It's really is. Those, those fields look so vast. It's fascinating, but you can go from one area to another and you'll see, oh, well, you know, those looked great in June. We thought we wanted those, but in August, they don't look so great. So that mm. was the litmus test. We absolutely pick out the best ones. It's not just about the pretty flower. It's also about the structure of the plant, something that lasts, something that performs. That's the only thing we're interested in. Now, how will these come to my house, Philip? These come bare root, and okay, so I've they're, got they're, a big one right here. You're getting the roots. Yeah. All right, so let's show you what, how it is. And so, then how do I plant it? Is there like a special way to plant this? Well, nothing special <laughs> about this other than the flowers when they come up. So we've got a big bare root. This is the way they come to you. You can plant it this way, this way, any kind of way. They will always find the way to the top in any kind of soil. These will bloom their heads off this year. I plant my daylilies about two feet apart because each clump will get big. Okay. But they're beautiful in containers. I love them in the containers. As I'm Look showing you here today. Yeah. This is one container with the daylilies. They're perfect. And if you've got heavy clay soil where everything rots, guess what? The daylily will prosper. If you've got a really sandy soil mm. where it just wants to fall apart, these will work fine. These will grow almost on sand dunes, but in a very sandy area. And if you've got salt water inundation, that's fine. You've got a low area, that's fine. Once they're established, they'll also take drought. Now remember, this will come with the growing guide. And I'm just gonna show you that to you right here because I wanna give you some advice. What you do with this growing guide, make a little binder, make a little folder, put air, yes. all your growing guides in that folder and it'll give you advice on how to winterize, how to, how to water and fertilize yes. if you forget and if you have any questions. But remember, this is very easy to work with. But Give me some information, Philip, on like, uh, do, do they need a lot of sun? Do they need a lot of water? What's the deal with that? 
anything you say, they will take. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. Anything you say, they will grow. They will grow and prosper in the shade, in the sun, in the north, in the south. Good soil, bad soil, containers in the ground. I mean, this this is the the problem solver of all problem solvers. It is it works beautifully. It is appropriate for a quaint garden. It is exquisite in a really fancy garden. These are fancy looking colors. It's a regular daylily that's put on a really pretty dress for you. And in the winter, do I need to cut them down or anything like that? Um, when fall comes, you can cut the foliage back if you want to. You don't have to. Oh wow! I mean, they just kind of collapse. I cut the stalks off so that they're not just sticking up. But these keep on blooming and they keep coming back. You can divide them. You can drive over them with your car. They're still going to come <laughs> back. I'm just telling you, these are indestructible plants. This is the longest lived and the toughest perennial that we offer. And if you want the fertilization just to go along with it, just in case you want to take yes. care of it, that information is on your screen as well. You're getting 100 packets, that's 100 gallons, it's customer top rated, but look at the field that this has created, you know, in, in some of these, the, the finest areas, of the finest growers of daylilies in the world here. Yes, and there are a lot of daylilies out there we picked the best ones for yeah. you. And, you know and what? here they are. These are really exotic looking. You know, they're not just the one color of orange that you sometimes see, like you were saying a little bit earlier, like down the road. You've got that beautiful kind of red. Here's that wonderful pop of pink. That's your eye candy. And then right over here, you've got the blackthorn, which has that blue ink dyed kind of look on the inside and along the petals. $34.96, free shipping and handling on that one to get it home. So definitely pick that one up because I always, when I think of cottage farms, I think of those daylilies. I definitely think of those all the time. Six piece collection too. All right. So now you guys have been waiting for this. These are very, very popular already. Um, it is the Bountiful Harvests